Well, Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Uh, a great way to finish the uh, travelling um, commitment. What were your thoughts on the performance? First half, very, very good. Easy at times. Should have scored six or seven. Second half, very, very difficult. Made it difficult for ourselves. In the first half, the reason why I was comfortable is because we played through lines. We was positive. We worked hard out of possession to make angles. Um, and in the second half, we turned it into a second ball, second ball game. And they were more second balls than us. Made us work hard. put the ball in areas where it wasn't comfortable for us. And then... Um, Listen, I, th- I still think we should have won the game. We, we should be so far ahead that they, we, we should never even give them a chance. But um, they're probably frustrated that obviously that goal at the end that might have gone in um, could have potentially got them a point. But um, I think we deserved the win. We, I mean, even before that, Junin's had a one-on-one to score. And then obviously he's, he, he's um, finished off. I'm pleased because we want to build a culture of a winning mentality here. Have you been great today, second half? No. But winning is about a culture. It's an attitude to win. Um, I think we're developing that. We could still be be, be better. Um, but this club's been in um, a moment in the season where they found it very, very difficult to, to win. And losing becomes a mentality and losing becomes a habit. And um, you can either, you can turn up and you can play really well. But if that, if that sets in, you find it really difficult to win games. I think we've got a mentality that we're going into every game where we believe we can win. And, and our points return has been outstanding. In real time, when you saw it, did you think it had crossed the line? I thought, I thought it was a goal. I thought it was a goal. Then I watched back on the iPad that we have at the side of the of the dugout, and I didn't think it was in. But it's not HD. It's quiet. Um, it's, I don't know what the total opposite to HD is, but it's definitely not that. So I didn't think it was in. I've watched it back there. It's really difficult to tell. I'll need to see it on a bigger screen and a more clearer picture. I think it's just nine weeks that you've been in charge. When you think where the club was and you could still finish now in the top half of the table, yeah. you've come a long way. No, it's not important. The biggest thing, everybody at the club should be extremely proud today. I've been in the door two minutes. Um, I don't know what the average age of the team was at the end. Um, I don't know how many academy graduates, but it's a testament to Martin, to all the academy staff. You know, the, the, the youth team had a game today to win the league at Luton and we took... We took Zach off him to, to start here today because um, Darren pulls out. So everybody should be extremely proud of what they're doing at the academy level. And obviously, if they can filter that up and get plays into our first team, then obviously I can um, bear fruits of that. But um, fantastic day for the club, good uh, travelling support, and for them to see so many academy graduates, it must be every like I say, Martin must be sat up there um, like a Cheshire cat. He should be proud as punch, and everybody else, the chairman, obviously Nigel's flew over today from Boston. But that's fantastic. So, again, I, I come I come in. I'm not a selfish manager where I'm thinking about my own stats. I want to develop the club and giving young players is, um, as an opportunity today was the most important thing for me. And I still want to see... I mean, you look at Zach, his legs have gone after, after 55 minutes. So, obviously, he needs to work on his power and his fitness. But, again, we've given him opportunity. I thought first, first half he was outstanding. So, um, a credit to everybody at the club. Just 17 years of age. It was a big afternoon for him, wasn't it? Well, it was a massive afternoon, but I thought he looked after the ball. He was composed. Technically, he's very, very gifted. Um, I'm just disappointed because I would have got Rion on, on the pitch if we would have scored the second earlier. What I didn't want to do is put him in that in that environment where it was, it was too hectic. And then you put him on for 10 minutes and you lose the game. And it can also you, you concede and it becomes a little bit... Now, he's a bit disappointed, but also the players are looking at me and going, hang on a minute, that was difficult. Like, why are you giving someone an, e- an easy debut? So, hopefully, we'll get some more debuts next week. Um, but again, I, it's fantastic for the club. And then I'll go back to the players that have done unbelievable for me. There's so many. And then Aaron Drew again, run his heart out. Connor Wood. Um, Alex Mitchell's coming because obviously Shad um, suspended. Heck, Ethan's come on and was probably the best player in the last in the last 20, 25 minutes. We've asked Jordan Brown to play that position. Outstanding at right back. So listen, we've got a lot of good things going for us. Let's keep developing the club. Aaron Dwan just never gives up, even though he had the blow of the, the penalty and other chances. No, I was disappointed with Aaron at half-time and I spoke to him and said, listen, because he let the penalty affect him. I've, I've took penalties, I've missed him. What you don't want to do is to change your body language, to change your game, because there was more goals from there. So once he's missed the penalty, just reset, just go again, make the same runs, and there was goals in it. And we told him at half-time and thankfully he got his goal at the end. They were players out because of injuries and illness. What is the extent and what is the serious uh, nature of those? Practice just getting old. <laughs> okay. um, and he told me before the game that he had a few drinks last week at the boxing. So probably have to watch his alcohol intake now because um, he's getting old and, he's, and his joints can't take it. I said he's a fantastic professional. So he's just a niggle. He'll be back training on Tuesday. 
Um, Tomo's still not back fit. Ruel is, is out ill. Um, anybody else? It's one or two, but uh, in I terms of illness, is it COVID or was it no? no it's, just, it's just an illness. He came in. I think Martin Link came in on Thursday and, and spread it to a few people. And Nigel is here now, over in this country. Are you talking to him about sort of targets you've got for next season? Because it's a very short summer, isn't it? It is a very short summer. But um, no, we went for something to eat last night. Again, great company. We we, we spoke about little aspects of the club because obviously you just come from the from the annual AGM. Um, and I think now this week, I want to try and get Theo sorted. I want to try and get Tom James sorted. Um, I want to get Aaron Drinan a new deal because we don't want him running out. He's 24 next year, so I think he's done great. I think he enjoys it here. And then we want to give a new contract to Ruel. Once we get them four sorted, um, then we can take a breath and make sure that we get quality over quantity. And we're not rushing. We're in a really good position. We've got a, we've got a big squad. Um, there will be there will be incomings and there will be outgoings, but that's the nature of the game. We want to improve. We want to be, you know. I think what was good today is the players. You know, the, the League One playoffs have kicked off at half twelve, so we obviously there's different games on. You watch that Plymouth and MK Dons, Dons game, the Gillingham Rotherham, and he's probably a few games flick, flickering on and off between between the players. You know, and you watch that the atmosphere, what the fighting for, it's fantastic. And then we come here today. Listen, we've been good. Our attitude has been exceptional, and the, and the players and the Fans can be proud of the players because they've turned up and they've given, you know, maximum effort. But we want to be playing for something. The difference, is, the difference is huge. So next year we want to be playing for something. And you will have a say in the playoffs because Tranmere is still in the hunt. I don't care. We can't get in the playoffs. So no, we're going. I think nobody can question us. Um, we've not rolled over for, for anybody. We got beat last week against Northampton. We were going for the top three, but we should have been two 0 up before they scored. And, and they come up with the right attitude, and, and we lost the game. Anybody who has beat us, hold them away. The, the opposition have worked so you're going to lose football matches is a way to lose I think we've lost in the right, the right way but to win 7 out of 12 I mean I don't know what the the, the form table of, of the last 11 games is what's, what's great is I, we've been here we've done unbelievable but I haven't even been got a nomination for manager of the month so <laughs> if we win if we win on um, if we win on Saturday maybe I'll get a nomination but yeah I won't hold my breath I know it's appreciated by the Orient faithful. Yeah, well done, Richie. Thank you very much. All right, well thank done. you. Cheers, thank guys. You. Have a safe trip.